Before I start, um, I want to uh, talk about the concept of what is contacts in Whisper. So a Whisper contact is a recipient of messages sent from Whisper platform, such as customers or company staff. Within the platform, a Coptan details are held within fields and workspaces specific, which should only hold information to identify and send messages to a person. Once loaded into Whisper, a contact becomes accessible via workspace address book and can be added to a distribution list later on. My focus of this webinar would be just using the import functionality and then how to maintain contact details. So before we jump into the and using the import functionality, I want to touch two important key uh, uh, features in Whisper. One is contact mapping rules, and the other one is to uh, default the notification option for a particular contact. It is important to understand that before you do your import into Whisper, uh, it's better to actually set these two uh, features, otherwise it will not work. So let's go and show you. Let's talk about the contact mapping role first. When you're logging into your Whisper company, and you have to go into your admin icon. Within there, you need to go to the contact mapping rules. Essentially, in here is where you set some rules in regards of what's going to happen once the, a contact is loaded into Whisper. As you can see in the first option, it will ask you when a contact is created within this particular workspace, could be in any workspace or a particular workspaces. In this example, I have two workspaces, ABC customer comms and ABC operations. I will be using ABC operation to do my import. So I will, in this example, I will choose ABC operation. The next step is to have some criteria. And once a contact get loaded into Whisper, I can look for a particular details for that context. For example, I can use a business unit. I identify the business unit like um, if we populate business unit for context that says uh, communication uh, team. If that matches, then what's, what's next? We can then determine what to do with that particular context. We can say, then map this particular content to another workspace. In, my, in this example, I can say, map that content to the workspace ABC customer comms. And the last thing to do is what to do when that criteria doesn't match anymore. We basically have two options. When that criteria doesn't match, we can leave that contact map into that workspace or decide to remove that contact from the workspace or previously mapped. In my example, I'm going to choose remove the contact from, from that workspace and hit save. That will create my mapping rules. Another important thing before you do the contact imports is to define your default notification options. That is, you need to, to do that, you need to go to your company settings. What this is essentially what it is, is where you can 
define once you publish, and we're going to talk more in details later on. When you define um, the URL or link where contacts can go and update their uh, their information, you can decide whether that link will be available for a particular number of days. So you have an option of 7, 30, 60, 90, or never. And also another option that you, you might be interested in or using is just to have this link available only for one, one click, or in this case, one off link. So these are the two things you need to consider before you do your imports. So now let's go and do a import. What you need to do within your workspace, you click words, uh, your workspace menu, go to your contact list um, title, expand it, and there is, you should see an option called import contact. So this is the feature where you can use to bulk upload contact information. So it's just following the steps. Um, step number one is uh, very important, uh, which you can download an example of the template to your PC. As you can see, once you click on download template, you will see a structure of the CSV file that you need to use to upload your contacts. In this example, you will see that the first row, we have a contact called John Citizen with every single uh, field populated. So what you need to do in this case is to uh, fill in your contact details based on this template and save it as a CSV file. It is important to know that there are four fields mandatory for you to upload contacts. It is important to have the first name, last name, the work country, and time zone. Without those four fields in, into your file, you're, you're, you're not gonna be able to upload contacts. The rest is um, uh, optional. One more thing is you have to also uh, uh, define at least one contact uh, information, either phone number or work primary phone number or work email uh, uh, address. Um, uh, as you can see, there is multiple levels of uh, contacts that you can upload here. So uh, you need to uh, really advise that you go and uh, see all the fields uh, that you can use in your case. So let's choose the file. Select your file and hit upload. Once you hit upload, the system will actually read the files and look for all the fields on that file. So what you need to do is just click import fields name, check them all, and then finally hit import. As you can see, we just successfully upload a contact called John Citizen and we can have a look dot contact in your contact list. Here we go. We got John Citizen into our system now. Another feature that I want to talk today is how to maintain contacts information. 
we can do it, uh, the update of content information in, in, in multiple ways. One is through the actual UI, where you can actually find a particular contact and hit edit, and you edit the any particular information for that cost, for that contact. Another way is by a contact portal, and I will demonstrate you how to how to do that. To use the contact portal, you need to do an invite to your contact. You need to go to the workspace menu and under contact list, an option and choose the option invite active contact. Then you can see the system will already pre-populate the message and notification that have that will be sent to customers, oh, sorry, to contacts with the, the link of the, with the portal to use. It's important to note that you be, you choose the Whisper community uh, options and your drop-down menus in your application field. Then you will choose a particular contact or multiple contacts to send this notification. In my example, I will use John Smith. I will, in, my, in this case, select John Smith and then add it to my right hand side of, and then click OK. Once I have my recipients and the details of the notification, I'll, I will just hit send. This is a, an example of the notification contacts will get to get access to the to the portal. Um, contacts will will have to click on the link. Once you hit that that link, you will be redirected to the Whisper contact portal. In here, contact will have to fill up all the fields to create their uh, signing name, password, and a secret question to enter into the portal every time they want to update the contacts. So in this example, I'm just going to use um, um, A. Smith. My password. Uh, secret question to protect your password. The answer. And finally, the the code image below. And hit save. Once you are into the portal, then it's easy for contacts to navigate through the options and change their particular details. So you can, the first tab will be review details. And this is where all the details that that contact can actually update. Uh, uh, so the sample, I can update my title as a mister and hit save. And that new information for that particular contact get captured into the Whisper platform. Another way for you to keep your contacts update is through 
an option called contact update. Contact update, you need to go to navigate again through your workspace menu, expand the options, and you will see there is an, another option called contact updates. Contact updates is a similar uh, uh, functionality of the portal, but the difference is that you send a notification, you send a notification to contacts uh, with a, a particular link, and which will not require to, for the contact to log in or set up password. That link will just uh, redirect contacts to the contacts up, update uh, area for them to update any information. Let's demonstrate that. We'll send this to John Smith. And then he sent. And the last thing that I want to show you guys today is uh, how to export contacts from the Whisper platform. Once you have all your contacts into the into Whisper, you also have the ability to export that information. To export contacts is very simple. You need to go to the workspace menu, go to your contact list area, and choose export contacts. Then you can select from a particular workspace. You can select one multiple uh, contact fields or just simple uh, select all. And then add it into the list. And finally, hit export. That will give you a CSV file with all your contact information. For more information, please go to redirect to your account manager or go to you so, to support at whisper.com and we'll be more than happy to help you. Also, I encourage you to register for Whisper community if you haven't already done it. So you can go to www.whisper.com slash community. There are some additional self-help resources for you, including the help menu through the platform and help videos available on our website. Uh, I think that's all about it for now. And thank everyone for your time and have a good day.